a source for news. Eyewitness News starts right now. They will never be forgotten. Um, they'll always be remembered. Two state troopers who lost their lives in the line of duty honored tonight. How loved ones and community members came together to keep their memories alive. Good evening, I'm Jessica Gway. This is Eyewitness News. Today marks four years since state troopers Eric Workman and Marshall Bailey were tragically shot and killed in the line of duty. Eyewitness News reporter Kaylee Gunderson tells us how friends and family honored the fallen officers tonight. Kaylee. Tonight, the Clay County community came together to remember two men who were very important to their community, and they've made sure over the years their memories are being kept alive. State Troopers Eric Workman and Marshall Bailey tragically killed in the line of duty. It just it devastated the community. Nobody could believe it. I mean, it just, it's a big hurt. And a lot, a lot of people might, you know, they, you can still feel the hurt. Workman and Bailey pulled over Luke Baber for reckless driving at the Wallback exit four years ago. Baber pulled a gun he had hidden on him and shot and killed them both. And four years after that day, the community continues to honor and remember them. It really did devastate us. It, it took a toll on the police officers here in the county and, and the, the community members. Um, however, we're bouncing back. They will never be forgotten. Um, they'll always be remembered and you can't talk to somebody about Marshall or Eric without getting a, a funny story and a good laugh because they were just, it was a joy to be around. In the place where Workman and Bailey were shot now sits a memorial. Family and friends gathered tonight to light up the memorial with candles and release balloons with messages to Workman and Bailey. Never forget them. You can't forget them. They're just a place there that you'll never forget. Friends say they stop often to pay their respects to these two men, but on days like today, it's important to honor them in a special way. As the longer they're gone, the more we miss them, the more we want to honor them. Um, we're not, I know all these people in the county, and uh, we're not the kind just to forget people. Uh, we're very loyal, um, and especially for those who protected us, we'll never forget, and it'll just keep increasing, I think. Trooper Workman's family has started the Eric Workman Foundation and the Eric Workman Memorial Muskie Tournament as other ways to keep his memory alive. Kaylee Gunderson, Eyewitness News.